Hey. I wonder if the wiener man will investigate himself for ripping off Americans that should have bought gold. By the way, silver is continuing to climb as well. And what are they doing? Nothing. They are borrowing in Washington $188 million every hour. Borrowing $188 million every hour. I just showed you how quickly the national debt grows. Can anyone explain this? Now the worst is not behind us. Food and gas will not be less expensive. Your retirement is safe. Spending in Washington is under control. This one, there are things you can do to protect yourself. But Wiener said no. People, all, everybody, could you just have some extra food on hand? Go out and buy it when it's cheap. Have it. I believe I said because this spring, things are going to be tough. I said that last fall. Why would someone urge you to remain unprepared? How is America paying her bills? Well, the same way you do at home, usually when you're in trouble racking up a credit card. We're able to do that because at the moment we have a triple A credit rating. That means like when you go in to buy a car and they're like, your credit score is great. Good. You get a loan, you get it easily, and uh, you get a low rate. But what happens when you go into that car dealership and either you screwed up your credit rating or somebody else has screwed up your credit rating? What happens? You get the car? The S&P move indicates what's on our horizon. Triple A status is the highest status. Okay? And it goes, great, extremely strong, very strong, and then it starts to come with some caveats like, uh-oh, trouble. Economic conditions and changes in circumstances may be on the corner. It's a thin line. I mentioned only five Five in the last 20 years have ever been downgraded to negative, and only two regained their stable status. Will we? Great Britain just regained theirs, and the only reason that they were given their stable status back was because of strict austerity measures to cut spending. They say this will ultimately reduce the deficit, so they had to get rid of all these programs and everything else. But you remember... What happened in the streets when they started doing these things to regain their status? The communists and the Marxists and the radicals came out, huh, and did this. Hmm. I want to show you a chart. You notice that only two of the top world economies are in negative. It's us, right here, and negative. It's Spain. Oh my gosh, Spain? Oh, there's the people we want to mirror. Spain's economy is on fire. Not the good kind of fire, but it's still on fire. Unemployment? Oh, they have unemployment, sure. It's two and a zero, which means nothing. It's like two or 20%. Okay, it's 20. Let's look at our debt as percentage of GDP ratio. Oh, look at this. We're the second highest. Oh, this, these are the guys here. <laughs> these are the guys. They're sinking into the ocean. I would make us number one. We lose the AAA credit rating, America's credit card rate goes up. It gets harder to get loans. Look away, America. Go shopping. Go to sleep. Nothing to see here. Go about your business. Don't prepare. Don't prepare. Don't prepare. Why would someone urge you to remain unprepared? Why would someone try to collapse the U.S. economy? Why? We just watch them rack up more debt. Is anybody preparing? Somebody's got to be preparing. Probably, my grandfather told me, the time to have money is when nobody has money. Huh. Who has money? And who's preparing? We'll go into a little more of this next. Just came over the wire. Day camp, risky games. New York backs off. New York state health officials have yanked a set of proposed guidelines for what were initially deemed risky day camp games like, like Red Rover and kickball. So it can, <laughs> so ridiculous. 
Okay. <clears throat> so anyway, it's a... Uh, they have backed off it. America, you have won. We can... Come on, Aaron. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it. It's not risky now. You can just throw it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't trust her. Help me, America. I'm trapped with Aaron. America has been downgraded, and our credit is maxed out. Okay? But the solution so far has been to get more credit and pile on the debt. Just play a giant shell game of moving it around. Here's what it is. This book, this time it's different. Just started reading it. Could be a crappy book. I have no idea. Just started reading it. Intrigued by this time it's different. Eight centuries of financial folly. Love that. Eight centuries of saying, no, but this time it's different. No, it's not. It's a scam. It's a game. And we've all played it ourselves. I have a guy who was on my staff who, when he was younger, he put everything. He put his car, his apartment, his vacations, all on credit cards. And when the rates went up, he just switched them around and put them on other credit cards. That's a problem that could collapse very quickly. And America is about to find out the hard way. America is no different than a household, your house. But it'd be like if you put your, you know, your, your house and your car and your gas and your food and your little kitty cat and your vacations and your restaurants, everything, all on your credit card. You're not even making, there's not a chance you're making enough money to pay for all of this stuff. But you just put it on the credit card. And instead of dealing with the early debt, you just keep buying things. Keep up with the lifestyle. Keep up with everybody else because you deserve it. You should have it. We've got to spend the money. Honey, we've got to spend the money. We're in business now. And your wife is like, I don't think we should spend the money. I don't think it's a good idea. To, to, I mean, we're in, we're in toilet cover industry. I don't know. That's a really big. We ought to have more, better toilet covers. Honey, it's a great idea. America's clamoring for them. I don't think. So the debt just keeps going up years and years and years. And you're just kind of hoping that it'll go away. As the debt mounts, it gets harder and harder to control. Eventually, late on some payments. I told you we shouldn't. Honey, we've got to have even bigger, a bigger staff, more people making toilet covers. Your credit gets downgraded. Game gets harder and harder because it's costing you more just to keep it going. But you keep investing in that toilet cover business. Now you're forced into a decision. Well, there's two ways out. You, two ways out. You can... You make some tough cuts. You maybe sell the cats. You know, they're too cute. Let them go. Give them to a friend. I don't know. How about uh, instead of the cats, you get rid of the car and the gas and you take public transportation? Al Gore would like that very much. You could get rid of, you get rid of the house. Maybe live in an apartment. I've done it. Of course, I don't like riding the train because trains smell funny. You know, they smell funny. People smell funny on the train. <laughs> well, you can't do that. You can't be around people that smell funny. And I lived in an apartment in 1999. Smelled like soup. Whole place. Oh, well, did it. Had to downgrade my life. The next option is invest. Invest. We can grow our company, honey. We can grow it. We can keep the house. We can keep the car. We can have it all. We're destined to have it all. The car and the cat. We can have it. All we have to do is invest in our toilet cover industry. I'm telling you, we're on the verge of covering every toilet in America and the world. Well, that's what America's doing. Meet the toilet cover. We dump a bunch of money into green energy. Shockingly, that didn't work in Spain. Wait a minute, Spain? Didn't I say Spain was in trouble? That's right. So now what? Banks don't give you a loan because your credit is downgraded. The money is due. Your options. Now, you got all this stuff. You can't invest. Nobody wants this crap. So, what do you do? Well, you can A, get a ridiculously high credit card. You know, something with a credit rating of, you know, like 40% interest every month or you could go to a loan shark joy i'm gonna break your legs when you don't pay you understand hmm or you can go bankrupt your only viable op option is to make the drastic cuts you sell the cars you take the funny smelling bus or train you sell the house live in an apartment downgrade your lifestyle it's coming they're downgrading our credit and that's why our country and our Fed is downgrading our money. 
Yet our expectations remain the same. That's why people were rioting on the streets, because they don't understand this. It's like a five-star restaurant. It's now been downgraded to a two-star restaurant. It, I mean, you might find a bug in the salad this time. I'm just saying. You're not going to get the same quality of service. It was a five. It's now a two. Now you can go back to a five, but you have to do the right things. America is refusing to do the right things, make the necessary cuts. Oh, I know. They say they're going to make the cuts. But was that serious? The homeowner would need to sell the house, the car, the boat. That would be Medicare, Social Security. Take care of the people who are there at the doorstep, who we are already doing. But get rid of the bloat. Get rid of... You're telling me that... You're telling me that we have the best atmosphere for creating jobs and everybody who can work is working? I don't think so. Should we cut the military? Yes. In some areas, yes. Here's an idea. Let's not go to war in Libya. Let's pull our troops home. They're in harm's way. Tough cuts. But what is Congress offered? $40 billion. That's like saying, honey, you know, I know we're hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt, but I'm, you know what? I'm going to do my part. I'm not going to buy that pack of M&Ms this week. Oh, that's great. The choice has been to push it off. So we have to get money now from a loan shark. Except the loan shark isn't Joey. No, the loan shark ain't Joey. You know what I'm saying? The loan shark is Fed. The Fed. Just like the mob, you can't open up their books either. But just like the mob, they will always get their money. Who, who, why would someone urge you to remain unprepared? Why would someone try to collapse the economy? Because they can make money on it. They've got an exit plan. What's yours? Who, who is paying the Fed? They're paying all this interest to the Fed. Does the Fed loans out money? They pay interest. Where is that interest? Who, who is that enriching? For all the talk against the rich, no one seems to be bringing up the real rich. I love it that they go after the Koch brothers, but they never talk about George Soros. Where is the money at the Fed? Who's enriching themselves? Are they playing any games with the stock market? It's the mob. This mob doesn't break your leg with baseball bats. They do it with inflation. They're closing the escape hatches, and they're blocking the way out. The way out is to downsize. But the answer we keep getting is pump more money in. We'll inflate that money. Well, who pays for that? You, not the uber-rich. They get richer. The poor, they get poorer. Because money will be worth less. Squeeze those two words together. There is a different exit. We've heard more and more leaders talk about, you know, the American dollar just isn't what it used to be. That system has failed. We need a new system, a fair system. It's time to replace the dollar with a new basket of currencies, a new global financial order. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why would somebody want to do this? Why would someone urge you to be? Because they've got a plan to enrich themselves. And yet all the money that you save to retire, unless you put it into something that you know will be valuable, gold, silver, land, cows, corn, your money would be worthless, but somebody would have lots of money. That's why gold and silver are increasing. People are seeing this coming. You know the University of Texas just bought one billion dollars worth of gold? Not paper gold, solid gold, the bullion. They had it transferred to them. Are they concerned about what's coming? Hmm, you shouldn't. Which brings me back to our credit rating. When you get a triple A, down to a, what, A minus, a B, lights out. Why do you think the left is preparing for riots in the streets? Why do you think I've been saying right here, enlightenment, education, empowerment, and entrepreneurship, be creative, be good, be decent. Build a lifeboat for others because it's unsustainable. And unless people are ready to give up more than a pack of M&Ms, there is only one outcome. And gosh, it seems like the left is prepared for that one. What is it again? It's a bottom-up, top-down, and inside-out. And it ain't pretty.